Airbnb is changing its policy on bookings to prevent wild New Year's Eve parties. ABC 10 News reporter Nia Watson looks into the new policy to see how the company is deciding who can't book a stay over the holiday. The holiday season is here, and so are the holiday parties. Obviously, we're not trying to say that nobody should be partying on, on New Year's Eve. What we are trying to say is that if you're going to do it, do not do it in an Airbnb listing. Head of Trust and Safety Communications at Airbnb, Ben Bright, says New Year's Eve tends to attract a higher risk of guests throwing well parties without permission. It could lead to property damage. It could be disruptive to neighbors. Starting today, the company will block people lacking a history of positive reviews from booking one night stays and entire home listings for New Year's Eve. Airbnb will also restrict two night reservations as we get closer to the holiday banning local and last minute bookings from those guests. The initiative was piloted last New Year's Eve and proved to be effective, preventing over 2,300 risky reservations in San Diego and 243,000 globally. We found that that it worked, that it was well received by our hosts. Wright says someone without positive reviews doesn't mean they're a bad guest or a partier. They just haven't earned that trust yet. He says it's a trade off in their commitment to safe and responsible travel. So it's, it is about finding that needle in the haystack, right? Because one party can be disruptive and, and we understand that and, and we want to do right by neighbors. We want to do right by our hosts. So that is uh, kind of powering the strategy here and, and, and why we're remaining so vigilant. Neil Watson, ABC 10 News. Airbnb implemented similar policies over July 4th and Halloween weekends this year.